Okay, so this morning we're going to change the flashing indicator light on the uh, mirrors, on the door mirrors. Nice, simple upgrade uh, and not too expensive either. We're going to change it to the LED dynamic type. So this is how the old flasher works. We're going to go ahead now and change that. So we're going to start the passenger side one. And the first thing to do is to get the mirror cap cover off. Okay, mirror cover. And to do that, you need to get yourself a little uh, trim tool, a plastic tool. Okay, don't use metal screwdrivers. Get into this corner here, just here, here, and here, and prise it off. Okay, the little clips to held up behind here. Once you prise it off, okay, and it becomes loose around this end, then using both hands on this side and this side, just pull it off. So we're going to go ahead and do that now. Right, with the mirror cover off, next we need to now remove two T10 screws. So there's one here, just there, okay. And the other one is just in the corner, I don't know if you can make it out, just there. Okay, so we need to go ahead and remove them. Next we need to now remove the uh, old lens, okay. And again, got to be careful not to break the tab. So what I found easy is to, once the screws removed, lift it up from one end here, okay, and then pull it to the back this way and it should just slot out of place all right the next thing we need to do is remove the uh, uh, bulb connector here for this one and use it for the uh, new uh, indicator light so once the bulb uh, connector has been removed from the old light we need to just connect it into the connection here it's a little bit uh, different size so what i'm going to do is just to make sure that it doesn't work its way loose i'm going to put some uh, uh, insulating tape around here and just clamp it together kind of thing so it stays in place right so once we've got the new led indicator bulb in place basically we just pop it in slide it to the mirror side and then put the screws back in the t10s which there is one there that corner and one in this corner here so put them back in and then we just get the mirror back on by putting it in from the bottom first and then pushing it into place and there we are that's the finished product looks very nice dynamic led indicator on the door mirrors let's see what the other side looks like there we go that's what the other side looks like so we're pleased with that